Yo, what's good? It's Saw Guapi here. I'm an Apex Legends content creator and I play Revenant. And today I'm going to be going over some of my best fights and plays of the season so far. And I'm going to be breaking them down and letting you into sort of my thought process and what I do during these fights and why. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. We're going to play the clips first and then we're going to run them back and pause them at each moment. I'm going to break it down step by step. I got a sell off. Yeah. Yep. Probably just this guy. It's definitely just this guy. Why am I gun not shoot? What? Okay, so it's worth noting before this fight started, or at least it started earlier, as you can see my teammate died. Basically, Lemon got team fired by Kraber and the Charge Sentinel. I know they have a Kraber and that they're probably going to be holding hands pretty hard and I need to try and separate them into 1v1s. So after I get the knock on him, I ult and push, which they decided to try and res the Caustic behind the wall, which they did. And unfortunately, even though I super glide over the wall and immediately focus the caustic as I hear him healing to the left. Sticking with the arc star, he's already gotten a sell off of gold armor and I believe he's just getting the second sell off. So he takes this arc star and completely tanks it. Immediately getting stuck here. The fact that I have taken that damage allows me to immediately pop a bat. I throw the silence down here because this is where they're going to push me from most likely even if he is going to grapple over. This is blocking line of sight if somebody is close. You never know with Apex's audio, could have been someone close here. It's the block line of sight, cause visual clutter and deter anyone pushing this spot right here whilst I'm batting. By this point, the Caustic is just throwing down traps. He's already got the res off on the Pathfinder and, and the Pathfinder is around this corner. Popping a Phoenix. Just barely get the kill before he gets the Phoenix kit off. And take high ground from the Caustic. He has a Mozam for whatever reason, and I have a PK, so I win. Let me oh take my. the dub. You already know I'm bad, dude, chat. Okay, so for the context of this clip, the last team has just rezzed uh, the Loba up top, hence why she has gray armor. I'm gonna super jump up the zip line. Instead of just running at them this way with res passive, you can use the wall run tech to wall run around the building and it catches this Loba completely off guard. She's already like shooting. She has, she thinks I've dropped down. Like she tries to shoot me and just has no clue. So I get an immediate one clip in the back. Big 99 pump on the Octane, which is pretty much guarantee my win in the fight. Just barely missed the second shot. Crack him with the 301, and I slide in here just to block line of sight whilst I'm getting the PK cock off. It's just just to take less damage, because you never know. And then finish him off with the door peek. Super free. Hey. I'm right here behind the crate. He stopped rezzing. He's rezzing again. I have no ammo, bro. I'm literally out now. That's I'm, that was actually disgusting. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so this clip is featuring a bunch of mantle jumping. Mantle jumping with Rev is pretty annoying. You'll often hit your head. 
he's one of the worst characters for it because he's so tall um but because there's no ledge here this one is like super easy to hit and it's, it can immediately give me a jump on this ash player to shoot her in the back so i've taken big damage here so i go to heal I hit another mantle jump here not as big use the last bullets i have to do as much damage as possible i res lemon and then i come back and i try again on the superior side with an arc star in hand which i'm pretty much i know i'm gonna hit this because they're still healing um immediately hit it and then crack them with the pk whilst carrying on the slide to continue to move out of range super guy tap strafe around the corner to reach out bunny hop to get closer until i can see him again and i can see him get a free uh, 90 damage crack on him right here jump shot hit him in the head for 11 and then i mean he's basically dead now like he's running away he's terrified so i'm gonna super guide on him and tap straight into him as well free kill um But regardless, we open it with a big 100 pump on the, the first guy. Now, the reason why I don't ego chow this guy, I definitely could have, but he immediately just disappears and I already have my shield gone because I started with a less shield than he did and he hit me for like nothing. So it's we, we exchanged. I'm going to reposition with a super glide to the corner of the building, pop a bat. And I heard a door go off during that moment when I'm healing which I make the assumption is this. Which it ends up being. He is still there faffing around with a door. I PK him for hefty damage. I know that below whatever shield he has left, if he has any, this dude's HP is basically nothing. Um, <clears throat> so he's holding the door on me. You throw it against the door like this and then proceed to flank the door. Either way, the enemy is kind of screwed. Like she's going to get hit by the silence and she's going to take a bit of damage. She's not going to want to open that door, which means she's most likely going to be staying exactly where I'm about to super glide to. So I'm going to push her from this floor. I hit her for a measly 11, unfortunately. Super glide back up because I want to reach out and get this knock. But I kind of I kind of wanted to hit a mantle crouch kill here just for the style, but it ended up being like super five head because his teammate just pulls up out of nowhere no clue how or when this guy's arrived but she's running to the right i want to kill her go for the mantle crouch kill take barely any damage <clears throat> he thinks i'm going up she thinks i'm going up the mantle crouch allows you to instantly chow the floor below from the floor above i'm here i get the kill on her immediately super jump up the zip to to wait for the next person who's already reached out to this floor and now i have a free angle on him which he is now pushing free kill on him because he's taken damage from another team i'm assuming and then reposition to the floor below i have no idea where the next teammate is who ends up being right here going up the zip like a moron 